Swedish court convicts 70-year-old man for saying Somalis are lazy. A Swedish court has convicted a 70-year-old pensioner of hate speech for posting on social media that he thought Somalis are lazy and don't work. The district court of Uddevalla handed the guilty verdict to the men in a unanimous decision, ordering him to pay 60 daily fines of 120 Swedish kronor, for a total of 7,200 Swedish kronor, 700 euros. The man's post, which linked to an article by Swedish public broadcaster SVT, was branded as derogatory to the reputation of Somalis as a group, the court said. In his social media post, the man defended the article's claim that some 20% of Somalis are unemployed in Sweden, before adding that Somalis avoid work because they are the laziest people in this world. A Swedish court has convicted a 70-year-old pensioner of hate speech for posting on social media that he thought Somalis are lazy and don't work. The district court of Adavala handed the guilty verdict to the men in a unanimous decision, ordering him to pay 60 daily fines of 120 Swedish kronor, for a total of 7,200 Swedish kronor, 700 euros. The man's post, which linked to an article by Swedish public broadcaster SVT, was branded as derogatory to the reputation of Somalis as a group, the court said. Copyright Press The Man's Post, which linked to an article by Swedish public broadcaster SVT, was branded as derogatory to the reputation of Somalis, related, Sweden sees sharp rise in forced child marriage reports in his social media post, the man defended the article's claim that some 20% of Somalis are unemployed in Sweden before adding that Somalis avoid work because they are the laziest people in this world. Have your say dash? Hit the comments below. The pensioner was reported by the left-wing activist group Nadat Skrinskaren, which boasts to have reported at least 800 people to the police. Swedish law says that hate speech must denigrate an entire group of people and be unfavorable to the group's reputation. Hate speech is taken seriously in Sweden as several pensioners convicted of hate speech in Sweden in recent years. In 2017, a man was fined some 1,340 euros for calling Muslims monkeys. The court's ruling said the man's comments could not be seen any other way than as derogatory to the Somalis' reputation as a group. It does not express any factual criticism, and the purpose of it does not seem to have been to contribute to a constructive debate, the court said. Last July, a Swedish dentist was fired after he claimed 80% of his refugee children patients were adults, referring to Sweden's unchecked immigration. Bernd Herlifs was persecuted by authorities when he released actual data revealing the truth behind what is happening behind the scenes of Sweden's immigration problem. Herlifs was analyzing the teeth of unaccompanied minor migrants who began arriving in their droves to the Scandinavian country. The dentist then found the wisdom teeth of the supposed immigrant children were fully grown adults, destroying the mainstream media narrative of rescuing children from war torn countries.